Hi everybody, this is Kayla from Kayla Crochet Love and I'm coming to you today, <laughs> might seem a little silly, um, but with part two of my Q&A. <laughs> um, so if you don't remember, um, with my 200 subscriber giveaway, I had asked you guys to ask me a question. So I did part one and I've been so busy, I forgot about part two. Um, so I'm here today to answer the rest of your questions. Um, I will try and go through them as quickly as possible because there is quite a few. So let's just get right into it. So all these ones have to do with yarn and crocheting. So the first question is what is your favorite yarn? Um, <laughs> so I don't really have an absolute favorite. Um, I guess you could say I have some I gravitate to a little more. Um, I really like the Caron Cakes. Um, any of them. Big cakes, smaller cakes, cupcakes, chunky cakes, ca uh, cotton cakes. I just tend to like them. And I think that's the colors that I like. Um, so I really like the Caron, uh, Caron Cakes. Um, and yeah, I'd probably say Karen Cakes is one of my number ones. Um, where do you buy your favorite yarn? So those ones are available at Michael's. <laughs> um, and usually when I go to Michael's, those are the first ones I look at. So, <laughs> What's your favorite yarn for afghans? Um, I don't make too many afghans, to be honest. Um, the ones I have made... I believe I used Bernat Premium. So the one I have is Bernat Pop and Bernat Premium. Um, and I also like to use Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I think that's because I can get large quantities of it at my Walmart and it's cheaper. And But when you wash it, it's pretty soft. So yeah, I'd say Red Heart Super Saver or Bernat premium or brunette pops. Um, what's your absolute dream yarn to work with? So I've really wanted to try working with mohair or angora. Um, my local yarn store sells mohair. I don't know about angora. And I've been tempted to try it, but it is expensive, I find. So um, I might try it one day, but for now, it's just a dream. <laughs> um, do you prefer solid or multicolored yarns? Um, I'm a colorful person, as you can see by my stuff behind me and my shirt. <laughs> um, so I would definitely say multicolored. Um, I almost always go for the variegated or the self-striping. <laughs> um, what is your favorite fiber content and size to crochet with? So my favorite fiber content... I really like alpaca yarn. Um, like an alpaca blend. Um, like, I don't know if I have it here. So this one here. I don't have the tag, but this is Estelle Alpaca DK, and it's really soft. I think it's an alpaca acrylic blend, but I'm not 100% sure. But I really like working with it, because so it's soft, and um, it gives like a fuzz. You can see a little bit of a fuzz to it. So, yeah, alpaca is probably one of my favorites. Um, and I, my favorite size would probably be worsted weight. Sorry, my dog's at the door. <laughs> um, but I'm not really picky. I just won't use, like, I don't like using crochet cotton thread, but, um, I've been using a lot of fingering weight too, so. Uh, do you prefer natural fibers or acrylic? Um, I'm not too picky with that. I really like natural fibers. Um, a lot of my collections turning to natural fibers and that's mostly I think because I do a lot of my shopping at local yarn stores 
and when I do I tend to gravitate towards the natural fibers. So a lot of wool, um, I've been using a lot of cotton lately, and yeah. So probably I'd say natural fibers are my favorite. Oh, that was on the other page. Um, so what size hook is your go-to hook, and have you tried crocheting with cotton thread? So my go-to hook size is probably a 5 millimeter or a 5.5 millimeter. Um, I'm not sure why. Those are just the ones I always go for or projects that use those ones. I think it's because it's easier on my hands and uh, yeah. And have you tried crocheting with cotton thread? I have. Um, I made a little angel pin for my grandmother for Christmas couple years ago and I was trying to make flowers excuse me but I wasn't a fan of it I had trouble with it but now that I've worked more with fingering yarn I might be okay with it but um, yeah I wasn't a fan at the time so you never know <laughs> I might try it again someday um, so this says favorite color and type of yarn. So I kind of answered the type of yarn question. Um, so my favorite color is pink. I love the color pink. Um, honestly though, I love all colors. I love the rainbow. and The only colors I don't tend to gravitate towards are the dark colors. Um, like really dark grays, black, dark browns. Um, but yeah, pink's my absolute favorite color. I actually don't have as much pink yarn as you'd think, though, for someone who likes pink. <laughs> but yeah, probably pink. <laughs> um, so these questions are about crochet. Um, how long have you been crocheting? So I've had to think about this one a few times. My aunt taught me when I was, I want to say it was about 12 when my aunt taught me. And I've been doing it on and off since then. So that's about 12, 13 years. Yeah, about 13 years on and off. So I'm tw I just turned 25 in June, so. Um, how did you get started with crochet and knitting? Um, so yeah, like I said, my aunt taught me to crochet and it's actually funny. I had no interest in crochet for a, little, for a while. I had tried knitting when I was about eight and I enjoyed it, but I was horrible at it. <laughs> but, um, I hadn't really shown much interest in crochet until I remember my aunt coming over. We used to do, um, craft night. So she'd come over and we'd do crafts together. And, um, sorry, my dogs, if you heard that. Um, so, anyways, one night she came over and she was crocheting using garbage bags. So you cut it into strips and you ball it up and she was making, um, beach bags with it. And I thought it was really cool. And she was using just black garbage bags and I think we had orange ones at the time and I said, well, that'd be really cool. So she showed me how to cut it and she showed me how to crochet with it as I was going to make my own bag. And I think I got, so it was pretty long, it was probably about that long and I think I got about that wide and I stopped. <laughs> um, and I think the reason I stopped was because I was running out of the garbage bag and I just didn't feel like that I wanted to keep cutting it. So, um, but I remember working on that. And I really wish I had kept that piece to see how good I was <laughs> since I was pretty young. Or since I was like 12. I know people are younger that do it, but... Sorry, my eyes itchy. <laughs> um, but yeah. And so my aunt taught me crochet. My mom taught me the basics of knitting. Um, and I ask her questions all the time. So, yeah. Um... Who is your inspiration to start crocheting? Definitely my aunt. Um, even now she sends me pictures of stuff she crocheted. She's the one who crocheted these two guys back here. And she's made me a few other things which I will eventually show you guys. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Everything is right now. It's such a 
it's a mess everywhere. <laughs> but um, she's the one who inspired me. And I know my mom's other sister crochets. And I've seen my grandmother crochet too, both of them. So, But my aunt was my biggest inspiration. Um, do you do both knitting and crochet? If so, which do you prefer? So I do both. Um, I mostly crochet. I definitely prefer crochet. I'm just quicker at it. Um, I like knitting for certain things. Like I like knit socks. Although I haven't tried knit or crochet socks yet. So we'll have to wait and see uh, when I do try crochet socks. Um, but I do enjoy knitting occasionally. Sometimes I just would rather knit. But crochet is my go-to. Um, I already answered this one. It's just who taught you how to crochet. And that was my aunt. Um, this one says, why do you crochet? So, I really picked up crocheting a few years ago. Um, I was going through a really hard time. My husband and I lived on our own. And I was not able to work due to my mental health. This, I don't really, didn't, I don't think I've ever really talked about it. Um, I was unable to work because I had really bad anxiety. So, my doctor took me off work for a little while. And in that time, I was at home. Not all the time. I made sure I got out of the house all, often and I was... Um, going to doctors and stuff, but um, I remembered sitting there and thinking I should, you know what, I should do something. I'll do, I'll pick up some crochet. Like I had always crocheted a few things here and there, but I was like, I really need to do something with my time. So I made, my cousin was pregnant with her first baby and I was like, you know what, I'll make her a gift. I'll, I'll make her hats. So I made a bunch of little hats. I made a little watermelon hat, hat with a big flower on it. And then I was wondering about crocheted stuffed animals because I had never really seen many. Um, my aunt had made some, but not a lot. So, um, or I didn't see a lot of the ones she made at least. So I decided to look it up. I found one I wanted to try making. And I made it, and then after making that amigurumi, I was hooked on amigurumi for a long time. <laughs> That's like all I used to make was amigurumi for a while. Um, I had a portfolio somewhere with all the amigurumis <laughs> that I made. But um, that year I made... So that, I made a little teddy bear, and that one, I, it took me about 24 hours <laughs> to make it. I was doing it like non-stop too, except for to sleep. Um, but I made a, a lot of amigurumis within a short period of time and that's how I really got hooked back into it. I just, for my mental health, it made me feel so much better. Um, my boss or my doctor had wanted to keep me off work for a while, but after crocheting for a couple months honestly I felt a lot better because if I was anxious I would just pick up my hook and go and it was amazing how much it helped me and even now that's if I'm I don't really I still struggle with it but not as bad as I did back then I know how to handle it better now um, and that's with years of hard work so even now, if I'm having a day where I had a really anxious day at work, all I can think about is wanting to go home and crochet. So I'll usually just, even if I just sit there and I just do something crochet back and forth, it helps me. So that's why I crochet. Um, what is your most memorable project? Probably that little bear I was talking about. That's one of them because that was one of the most complicated projects I had made at the time. Um, I've also made a crochet dragon and that one I thought was pretty cool. My nephew got a hold of it and it's pretty raggedy now. 
Um, those are probably the ones that stand out the most to me, but definitely I think that bear sticks out the most because it got me through a hard time and it made me realize that I could crochet amigurumi. <laughs> Um, out of all the projects you have finished, which one is your favorite? Can you share with us? My favorite project. I can't really think of one off the top of my head. Like I said, I like that bear one. Um, but I don't, I don't know if I could even dig up pictures of that one. Because that was a few years ago. Um, one of my favorites recently was probably my cow blanket that I made. I did share it with you guys. Um, I think it's called the Cuddle and Play Cow Blanket by Crochet Arcade. I'll try and link it down below. Um, it was a pain for me to do. I did not really enjoy doing it, but the result I loved. So that's probably one of my most favorites recently. <laughs> so I will just link it to link to the pattern down below. It is a paid for pattern, but um, well worth it, and you'll be able to see the picture there. Um, have you ever crocheted a project you didn't like? Yes. I know there's things I've finished that I wasn't crazy about. <laughs> Honestly though, I'm trying to think. And I don't know if I kept any of them. Or if I frogged anything. A lot of the times what happens is if I really don't like something, I just put it away and ignore it. <laughs> um, until I decide to either frog it or just throw it out if it's too old. Which, the, the only time I think I've ever thrown out a project is if I couldn't frog it. Um, other than that, I don't really have projects that I don't like. Um, there has been, I'm just going to say it this way, there has been, but honestly I don't remember what they were. <laughs> um, what is your favorite stitch? I don't know why, but I really like the bean stitch. So I actually have a hat here that I made, a, I made a, this pattern. Um, so this is the bean stitch. And I don't know why, but I really like the looks of it. Um, I have a tutorial for this hat on my YouTube, by the way, in case you're interested. came out a little big, but I like slouch chats. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I just love the look of the bean stitch. I know some people hate it. I love it. I don't... I'm not sure why. <laughs> so yeah, the bean stitch. My favorite stitch. Um, what is your favorite thing to crochet? What do you do with the things you make? My favorite thing to crochet... Lately, I really like to do shawls and cowls. That's been lately, but my absolute most favorite thing to crochet, I would have to say, is winter hats. Um, I like designing my own in my head because <laughs> I don't. I usually don't write them down, um, and just ask my husband. There's so many that I've made. Um, so I'm going to have to start making them and gifting them. But that's definitely my favorite thing to make is hats. Because I really like the gratification of having a project finished. And hats I can do in a, an hour. I wouldn't say an hour. Maybe two hours. Depending on the pattern. So yeah. Hats. <laughs> um, what do I do with the things I make? Um, a lot of the times I try and make things with someone in mind. Um, or I'll just save them and I'll gift them to someone, excuse me, or if, um, someone says they like it, 
um, then I'll give it to them. I know that's happened with my nephew a few times. I've made things and he's claimed them. So I tend to, I try to give my stuff away or I make them with people in mind. Um, what do you do to come up with new ideas for things to crochet? Um, so honestly, one of the main things I do lately is I watch podcasts. Um, a lot of the times I don't have, well, not really. If I'm in a crochet funk, that's, I, I always watch podcasts, but I will binge watch them <laughs> for ideas. Or I'll just go onto Pinterest and I'll just type in crochet patterns or something. Or even just, you know, how you go on Pinterest and it shows things you may like kind of thing. Um, I just look at that for a while and usually I can get inspiration from that. Um, another good way for me is looking at pattern books. It's one of my things I like to do too is I'll just some nights I just sit and look at pattern books and that's usually how I come up with ideas I won't always follow the patterns it just it gives me inspiration on something to make so that's what I do um, what is something you have never made that you would love to learn to do um, hmm, that's a good question I am interested in doing crochet cabling. Um, I know it's not too hard, or I've heard it's not too hard, I'm not 100% sure. Um, like I said, I've never done it, so I wouldn't really know. Um, there's, there's some blankets that have, I think, I want to say it's like the Tree of Life or something. There's one and it's, um, like cable trees or something and I just think it's really pretty I'm just I don't have a lot of patience to do blankets um, because I just like having projects done so fast I'll make baby blankets no problem but full-on afghans I haven't made a full afghan before just little um, lapgans um, but that is something I would like to do or a good one um, that I would really love to try is like a more complicated graph game because the only graphs I've ever done was with that cow blanket I, I started one with my um, hiking moose cow but that was with fingering weight yarn and it was just a pain one thing I would like to try is graph gans I think a little bit more I think that's something I'd like to try even just like a wall hanging size one. I think that would be something I'd like to try. <laughs> um, who is your favorite designer and why? So I had actually been thinking about this one because I was thinking about which designer I often go back to. So I was thinking about crochet and knitting. So for knitting, um, one of my favorite designers is probably Deb Gemmel. Um, I'll try and link, I think she has a Ravelry. She also might have a website. I'll have to look into it. Um, but I've taken classes from her and I really enjoy how she teaches and um, she has lots of pattern books and they're very easy to follow and she just does really nice stuff. like. The way she taught me was a way I never thought I could learn. It was just using math. And I'm horrible at math. And yeah, she's probably one of my favorite knitting designers. Um, for crochet, the only one, so I really like Sharon Oyajala. I can never pronounce her name. I'm sorry, but. She's an amigurumi designer and she's my favorite amigurumi designer. I've talked about her before on my podcast, so I will try and link to her as well. She has a blog, I believe. And I also really like, and I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me, is Crystal from Bago de Crochet. I don't, um, 
own any of her patterns, but she does her free tutorials and sometimes I'll just sit and watch her tutorials. <laughs> I may not make it, but the first article of clothing I ever made was one of her patterns. It was a shirt I made for my mom and um, I love all her designs, so she's probably my favorite crochet designer for wearables and stuff. Um, and as for why I like Sharon and Crystal, so Sharon also does, um, she does written patterns and video tutorials. And for Sharon, everything's really easy to follow. And the same with Crystal. Her video tutorials are amazing. Like, I, yeah, she explains everything really well. Uh, okay, two more questions. What is your advice for a newbie crocheter? My advice would be probably don't be afraid if you think something looks complicated don't be afraid to just try um, that's what I did with my amigurumi I thought it was gonna be a lot more complicated than it was I just sat down took my time and I figured it out and I was so happy with the result um, yeah don't be afraid to try new stitches um, fi don't try be afraid to try new fibers play around with hook sizes and just have patience with yourself because it's not something that necessarily comes naturally to everybody and it is something that takes time so yeah <laughs> that's probably the best advice I have <laughs> um, the last question just making sure yeah last question do you ever think you want to start an Etsy shop so I had actually I had been thinking about it um, but the only thing I don't really like is maybe, is, how can I word this? Having to have stuff in my shop all the time and maybe making things that nobody wants, um, or offering things that nobody wants. That's, yeah, I don't know. I thought about it. And I might still do it someday, I don't know. Um, but for now, I'm I'm just going to say no, I won't be doing an Etsy shop. Um, just, yeah, I don't have a lot of time right now either. But maybe in the winter time might be something I'll consider. But for now, that'll be a no. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all the questions. I hope this video wasn't too long. I, I don't know how long it's been. Um, but I wanted to answer those for you guys, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!